What's up guys, Aaron here and this is going to be the first video of the cutting series. So today what we're going to do is head and get all my shopping. So it's going to be shopping for a cut. Um, what I'm going to try to do is give you like loads of tips, tricks, little hacks that I do with food. And in terms of like you know eating for volume to make you feel full and um, I suppose like little sugar-free hacks loads of little sort of treats and tips and tricks that you can have that will I suppose help you whilst you're dieting or help well that helps me whilst I'm dieting but uh, hopefully it will give you a little bit of an insight and give you some little uh, some little hacks for, uh, for when you're dieting one tip that I want to share with you guys before I head out and, and get my shopping done is eat before you go shopping this is a, a mistake I make all the time and I end up buying way more food than I need. I end up buying shit that I actually don't really want because I'm starving and I'm in the shopping center. I'm just like, oh, fuck it, I'll just buy it. Do you know what? So biggest thing that I do, or the biggest, one of the biggest, I suppose, hacks that I have is, I suppose, eat before you go shopping because then you won't feel hungry when you're rocking around the shopping center and essentially you won't make any bad choices or you won't make any, uh, I suppose, extras don't fall into the, into the shopping trolley. So uh, yeah eat before you go shopping. First things first, I actually got to see what I need first, so I'm going to have a little look in the fridge. So, shit, this is bare as hell. Actually, it's not too bad. So I definitely don't need Greek yogurt anyway. I don't know if any of you guys use it, it's quark cheese. So it's a little bit thicker than uh, Greek yogurt. Per 100 grams, it is 12 grams of protein, really little carbs, and barely any fat. So it's quite high on protein, and now I hate cheese. But that's pretty good if you put, I suppose, protein through it. Um, I have some dark chocolate there. I have obviously butter. I have some pesto. I have this. This is delicious. This goes on everything. Butterscotch flavor, zero syrups. So it's sugar-free syrups. This is the business. I think it's like 20 calories per serving. Lighter than light mayo, you get that in Aldi. Some zero, I suppose, no added sugar squash. Uh, almond milk, this is one of my biggest hacks. Carrot and parsnip mash is the shit. So basically what it is, is essentially just carrot and parsnip mash, but the volume that you get for that entire packet that's only 100 calories, which is insane, so you get huge volumes. I have some reduced fat coleslaw, I love coleslaw. I know a lot of people hate it, but I love it. 50% less sugar. Um, ketchup, and then it's just 10 calories per serving, which is kind of, a little bit less than the regular one, but it's kind of handy to have. So I have spinach, kale, I have little slims there, loads of fruit. What's this? Put that in there and just ignore that. Cover it with, cover it with veg. Chicken. So I kind of need a bit of everything. Oh, I don't know if you guys have tried these yet. High protein pizza from Muscle Foods. You can get them in Super Value. They're pretty good. So that's the chicken and black pepper one. And it is 68 grams of protein and it is 29 grams of carbs in the entire pizza. Yeah, the entire pizza. It's Whopper. And again, if you're hitting that, if you just want that little pizza craving, it's insane for that. Let's have a look at the presses. Whoa, we are running low on rice cakes. This is also another little hack I use. 100 calorie packs of popcorn. So if you're kind of craving that, I don't know, kind of like savory sort of munch, they're quite handy. What else is handy? Oh. Everybody has to have this. Yeah, I use this kind of to cook my eggs in in the morning. So it's just fry light spray, it's just one cal per, obviously one cal per spray. I use balsamic vinegar on salads, and I also use this balsamic dressing. And that is Newman's own balsamic dressing. Flavoured up my protein, that one's probably my favourite flavour at the minute, which is uh, chocolate peanut butter flavour. It's pretty awesome. And then I have white chocolate as well. And then I have cashew butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, almonds, I don't need almonds. 
and then vitamin C is pretty much it. Loads of like rice and shit like that. I don't need any of that stuff. So, yeah. Let's see when we get to the shops what we need. Well, food first. All right, this may not look like the most appetizing thing on the planet. So what it is, is one tub of the quark cheese that I just showed you, the sort of cream cheese, and one scoop of salted caramel, my protein, uh, obviously whey impact. And it has 40 grams of cashew butter in it, and it has 20 grams of almond flakes on top. I'll put the macros up on screen for you guys anyway, but that's basically my pre-shop grub. So, scrubbed up, changed out of my work clothes, and sorry about the washing machine again. First stop is Kerrigan's Butchers in Malahide. I'm going to get all my turkey burgers and all my beef burgers and essentially my meats for the week. All right, guys, just got sorted in Kerrigan's and I got 30 burgers all right so that should do me for about a week that's probably about maybe five each day and um, depending four to five each day depending on how I mix it up in terms of meats and stuff like that but I got 10 of the low-fat beef burgers and um, a lot of them are anywhere between 25 to 27 grams but I have a 10% discount code which I'll pop in the description box so if you guys want to order online you can get a 10% discount code check it out it's down, the, it's down in the description box but yeah 30 burgers 10 beef and then the rest are turkey and I got the meters, the spicy meters. There are 40 grams per meter, which is legit. So next stop on the list is Aldi. Just back from Aldi and Tesco, and I'm just gonna go through um, pretty much all that I've got so far. Well, a lot of stuff that's, I suppose, that has to go into the fridge pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna start with this. I got these in Aldi. Now, I didn't know that you could get quart cheese in Aldi, which is quite cool. It's cheaper than the one in Tesco and it has pretty much the exact same macros. 11 grams of protein per 100 grams, which is pretty beast. Um, this is one of my little treats. It's actually a sort of like dark chocolate and sea salt bar, but it is absolutely delicious. You only got one of them because I milled through them. This is something that I have quite regularly, 75% dark chocolate. It has 11 grams of fat in it, so I'm focusing some days on like sort of a really high fat content, so that's quite cool. Less than 5% fat, lean, minced beef. All right, the difference between these corn cakes and the ones that you get in Aldi, which I'm gonna show you now. So in these ones, there's about 26 calories, whereas in these, there's 18. And when you're on a cut, every calorie counts. So you would get less of these corn cakes than these ones. So essentially you get more of these ones, which is always great when you're trying to cut. Volume counts. I just picked up these, which is something that I normally wouldn't do, but I actually bought them just for omelets and stuff like that. So it's kind of like just sliced ham and sliced beef. So it's basically just that you can chuck it in. These ones have actually ridiculous macros. 100 grams, which is essentially the whole pack. 28 grams of protein, two grams of fat, and pretty much no carbs. With the ham, pretty much the exact same, except less protein, just four grams of protein, two and a half, or 2.9 grams of fat, and again, no carbs. And then I got my carrot and parsnip mash, and that again is just for volume when you're eating, obviously, for volume. So here, other few little bits and pieces that I got, avocados, I got celery. Would you believe that potatoes are actually quite low in calories? So for the amount that you get, so for instance, for every 100 grams of potatoes, I think it's about 117 calories. So you can actually get a lot of volume from baby potatoes or salad potatoes. Um, so that's why I would use them a lot. Then I got these 96 calorie Slims which are quite handy again for little toasties in the morning. So for instance, you can have two of them and a pack of roast beef and it's 30 grams of protein and 20 grams of carbs. Or I think it's, I think the carbs are actually quite low in these ones. Yeah, so there's 15 grams of carbs. So if you had two of them and a whole pack of that, you'd have a pretty solid breakfast and you'd have like nice toasties. Um, in the freezer, the only thing that I got was peas. 
And then the other things that I got was broccoli, which is down here, just regular head broccoli. And then I just got coleslaw and that was it. So obviously I have my eggs for my breakfast. So they're obviously what I do sometimes. I have eggs and turkey burgers sometimes for breakfast. So depending on how I'm feeling, that could be one of my breakfasts. Or I might have protein granola with some Greek yogurt. Um, from my protein. I'll put the links down below to these products. And then this is one of the little hacks I have. Sugar-free jelly. So if I'm ever craving something sweet, this is uh, sort of like one of my go-tos. So I'll make one or two of these and probably chuck in some branched chain amino acids and kind of make it a little branched chain amino acid jelly. Picked up some cinnamon and Aldi. That's kind of for like porridge and for, I suppose, yogurt and stuff like that. That's kind of it. And then... I couldn't leave Tesco without a jar of this. I just couldn't. My little indulgence. That's pretty much all the food so far. And then these are all the little sort of like hack stuff. Like So what I have is sugar-free waters that I get in Aldi. So these are the apple and raspberry water. And they're about 60 cent. They're quite handy. And these ones are from Tesco. So these are all the different flavors ones. There's like summer fruits. Apple and elderflower, there's strawberry, there's loads of different flavours, but they're all 40 cent and they're quite handy. And I picked them up in Aldi, 12 cans for like a fiver, which is solid as hell. That's my, I suppose, entire shop done for a cut. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a video up on, I suppose, my calories, my macros, and what I'm going to do with my training in the next couple of days, or hopefully I'll get it recorded in the next couple of days. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already um, and if you're on Instagram, get me on Instagram, my handle is MrFly, if you're on Snapchat, get me there too, Aaron Smith PT, and Twitter as well is Aaron Smith PT. Again guys, this is the start of the cut so stay with me on this one, this one's going to be pretty slick, I cannot wait to show you sort of my progress as we go along. But uh, buzzing to get this one kicked off. So uh, I'll chat to you guys in the next video.